Hey, I hope all is going well and you're having a beautiful, blessed day. Today, I want to come and share with you guys a few things that I've learned about friendship over the years. I've had my share of people that I've called best friends. Um, that in later that later in life did not turn out well, and. I just wanted to give you guys some tips and tricks, I think, I guess I could call it that, that I've learned over the years um, in order to lead with my heart, but yet yeah, protect it. Um, leading with your heart is so important because we, as as people, we are meant to be connected to others, but... There's a fine line between wanting to know everything and wanting to be part of everything in somebody's life and and really getting to that point, really earning that privilege. Um, and I was, when I was a few years younger than I am now, so like 20, well, my first mishap happened when I was 24. And my second mishap happened just fairly recently, uh, three years ago. And so, um, but when you get when you get into a friendship or any relationship, for that matter, you have to know that if you're a heart led person, like I think to a certain extent, every every person should be led by their heart. But you have to be willing to. Take things slow at the other person's pace um, because people might not be like you. And I learned that the hard way um, because um, the friendship that I want to talk about, well, the first friendship that I want to address is one, my, my most recent one that ended Badly, and you guys know a little bit about this story. This story was built on one thing and one thing only, and yes, that is the way a friendship should start out, start being built. But as time went on, I felt the need to ask her questions about what her life was like, um, what her service was like. She, because she served in the armed forces, and and what her family was like, I wanted to get to know her as a person rather than just a fan of something. And she would not open up to me, and this went on repeatedly. And I felt that I felt that that was bad. But looking back in hindsight, she was going through some things that I didn't pay, not that I didn't pay attention to because I did, but she was, she was going through some things that she wanted to keep very personal and private. And me being the heart led person, I started being pushy, like, come on, tell me what's wrong. Tell me what's wrong. And started asking a bunch of questions, and she felt it was too invasive. And so that was one thing that led to our fallout. But the other thing was the thing that I told you about before was that she and I, we started gossiping wrongly about people because it just... It started out as one comment and then it started like spiraling into into things that um, that shouldn't have been said. So and when I caught what was going on in my own life, that is when I decided to cut off um, communication. And um the other thing was that I had a friend back in 2014. She was my best, best friend at the time. And 
we were connected again by another fan by another fan community and um right off the bat we messaged each other because we met within the fan community and so right off the bat we private messaged each other cuz we like we liked each other's comments and so but when we messaged each other we had a conversation and she's the one that and I'm not playing the blame game here don't get me wrong she is the one who started asking me questions about my life and being um getting very very personal very very quickly but again that is the type of friend that I wanted at the time as well because I I wanted to be close to somebody like that and to have you know to have somebody that I felt like could tell me everything and that I could tell everything to I didn't grow up with sisters I grew up with older cousins and only one of them only one of my older cousins was willing to kind of let me into the fold and not shut the door literally literally and fig- figuratively because I have so many memories um at my grandma's house where we would go hang out in my grandma's extra bedroom or sometimes my grandma's bedroom depending on on what was going on but we would go hang out in this extra bedroom but I would always get locked out because I was always the little one but one of my cousins she always made sure that I was included and that I was treated like one of the big kids. Well, anyway, back to my original story. I wanted more of a community with people like that. And so I let this woman ask me a bunch of questions and I answered them and I asked her questions. But it got really really deep very very fast. And then when um when it came time for her to or when a uh, opportunity arose to for her to get into a relationship um she didn't get into a relationship with the very good guy or so I thought um that was my thinking I don't know if he's changed now or not but um I tried to talk her out of it and things did not go very well because of the um the dynamic that we had built um it wasn't a slow dynamic it was very very quick so that's what made it tough for me to to navigate our relationship as well but with all this being said and i don't know if i'm making any sense but with all this being said i just want people to know that watch this video that when you get into relationships too quickly and you try to force your hand into something that's not there yet it may be there at a certain amount of time i for one am a person that if we sat down for coffee um they say that coffee is like an interview but if we sat down for coffee or we sat down to have lunch i would tell you anything you wanted to know about me because i don't believe that anything about me should be kept a secret because of the fact that i believe that god could use every single piece of my story but with that said there are people that don't think like me and there are people that you know they're I've heard the analogy of um in high school I heard an analogy of a artichoke. What do you have to do to get to the edible part of an artichoke? You have to peel it back layer by layer. And it takes time. You're not just going to peel the whole thing off in one fell swoop. You have to take your time with it. So um So I really have learned in past years that yeah, you have to take that artichoke approach where you peel it back layer by layer 
And also, you have to be very, very careful to protect your heart because physical pain can actually be caused by emotional pain. So, in the case of my friendship from 2014, I put so much time and so much energy into worrying about this woman and she was not taking any of my advice, but I spent so much time and so much energy pouring into her and not really taking care of myself and not really praying that God would change my heart towards the situation. But the amount of time that I spent in worry caused headaches, it caused shoulder pain, it caused me to walk hunched over because of my shoulder pain. I could not stand up straight. And so you guys, I really want um I really want the message here to be you have to protect yourself as well as lead with your heart. So lead with your heart very very slowly, please. I hope that all is going well and I hope that um I hope that this makes sense and anybody that needs to hear it, I hope that they would watch it and their takeaway would be that I said this in love and not that I said this um, telling you not to lead with your heart because it is good to lead with your heart and I, I believe that 100%. But we also need to be very careful about how quickly we get into things because like I said, it could cause physical pain as well as emotional pain. So I will talk to you later. I love you guys and have a beautiful blessed day. Bye-bye.